Reaping Fire here with another video. Today I'm doing a Blender 2.7 tutorial. The whole reason I decided to do this tutorial is because in 2.6, uh, Blender used to have an option underneath the world setting here where you could just check it off a box and there you go, you would have stars all over, you know, just in the background. And in 2.7, they decided to remove that because people just always use the particle effects or use other ways to do it and they decided it was unnecessary but there are people like me that love just having a simple starry background just check off the box and be done so if you are someone like me who just wants the simple stars uh, here's a way to do it I just found another way to do it just as quick quick and easy so first what you're gonna want to do is delete the cube because it just makes everything easier from that point on um, delete that now go over to the texture option which is that box here next to the world option that has all the boxes in it, create a new one. And then underneath the uh, the type where it says clouds, you're going to want to change clouds to Stucci. Whether or not I'm saying that correctly, I don't know, but I'm just going to call it that for my lack of knowledge and how to properly pronounce that. All you're going to want to go under colors here and check off the ramp option, and we'll get back to that in a little bit. Uh, now under Stucci, you're going to want to change that from plastic to wallen. That's very important. You don't want it to be plastic. And uh, underneath size here, you're going to want to change that from 0.25 to 0 0.001. So let's do that. And then uh, under influence here, you're going to you're going to uh, you're going to want to uncheck blend and check horizon instead. Now, if we go back up, you see we have this very staticky looking image here. Uh, in order to fix that, we want to go back to under colors where our ramp is. You'll see on the left side of the ramp, there's a little dotted line. You're going to want to click that and drag it to the right. The closer to the right you get, the more starry it looks. Uh, again, well, not again, but this is how... It's all up to you how many stars you're going to want, whether you want it to be really condensed or not, more spacious. That's all up to you. I like how this looks, so that's how I'm going to keep it. Now, under the preview, if you select World, you'll notice that the, the World kind of looks kind of foggy and white and boring. Uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that right now to make it look more like the texture. So I go back to the world options. Uh, you're going to want to check off blend sky and real sky. By default, ambient color is already black, but you're going to want to change zenith color to black as well. And then under horizon, this is all up to you how, how you want the horizon to look. Some people like having a little bit of gray in it. I like mine being closer to the black, if not completely black. Um, let's, let's make it a little more gray. That just is how I like it. And that's all you really have to do. Now if we go under the render settings, and not render send, but go under and render it, uh, you see that we have the the, scar, uh, the starry looking kind of sky background. Uh, we can go back and we can add in an object. Let's add in a cube again and render again. Now you'll see there's just a cube floating out in the sky. Uh, then you can move the camera. Let's go over here. And I will just move it over here. Again, we can render it. And no matter what angle, you're going to have that starry background. So it works just like that old checkbox option. Uh, it's it's a little bit, you know, you have to do a little bit more for it, but it's not quite as hard as doing something like the particle systems or something. And if you're just going to be staying under, you know, Blender render, and it's sometimes uh, harder to do things than when in Cycles render. A lot of people have been doing things in cycle Cycles render nowadays, and... It's just an easy way to do it and get it done with, especially if you're not being interactive with the stars. So I really hope this uh, this video helped you guys out, and if it did, then, you know, leave a like, subscribe, I appreciate it. If it didn't, you know, tell me in the comments, ask me any questions you have, I will be more than happy to answer them. And if you know a better way to do this, please tell me in the comments as well, I'd love to hear it. And I'm sure other people would as well. And yeah, so I hope to be able to do more of these videos in the future. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys around next time. It's okay, the sun's starting to set, so I might actually be able to make use of that over there eventually. I only got two mobs that spawned in so far, but. Uh, so I started off, I wanted to show the large amount of blocks that is offered with the StarCraft mod here. I just couldn't believe it. I didn't realize I had this many blocks um, until actually doing this.